There are things to examine. I got 27 XP for that. I would say there was something else, and there it is. Cool. Let's go talk to Joker before we disembark. It's always fun talking to him. The silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I uh, <laughs> boots out of the fire. Saving my boots from burning lava is part of your job, Joker. We don't give medals to soldiers. <laughs> Add figures. Just get me a nice card and a cake. No coconut, though. I hate that crap. <laughs> so, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. I'm sorry, Joker. I didn't even know you were sick. You mean... You mean you didn't know? Oh, crap. Okay, I've got Vrolich syndrome. Brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow. Too much force and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic. But I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you're... <laughs> Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. You're dodging the question. <laughs> I think I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker. And it stuck. Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy. Even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. I need to know more about <laughs> the syndrome if I'm putting my ship in your hands. Yeah, of course you do. It's an extremely rare condition. Nobody knows exactly what causes it. Genetic, maybe. It's treatable, but there's no cure. They classify my case as moderate to severe. I was born with over a dozen fractures. Hip, thighs, ankles. My bones were already breaking. A oh. hundred years ago, I wouldn't have survived past my first year. Lucky for me, modern medical science has turned me into a productive member of society. You're not going to break a bone trying to fly the ship, are you? Uh, I don't fly with my feet, Commander, so I'm fine. <laughs> with this chair. I got to be real careful when I get up to take a piss, though. I can do my job as well as anyone on the ship. Better, actually. So don't worry about it. I'm not trying to make you uncomfortable. Let's talk about something else. Whatever you want, Commander. I have to go. All right, see ya. Ah. I'm stuck. There we go. That was awkward. Collecting a few little things to click on to get some little bonus XP. Why not? Ah. There we go. This is basically my main squad. Liara and Tally. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Log, the commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Somebody's waiting for me. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, 5th Fleet. Commander Shepard, SSV Normandy. You don't know who I am, do you, Commander? I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. 
Then the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship, and you. Captain Anderson made it clear to me that my assignment came from way up in the brass. They say jump, I say how high. Remember that when I tell you to jump. I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. You don't approve of the Normandy's design? This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. We'd be honored to show her to you, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. He's a dick. Commander, I'm not happy. What did you find out of order? Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? Modified Turian style. They prefer commanders looking over their subordinates rather than in the middle of them. We wanted to see how effectively they can command with that setup. Hmm. Reasonable goal, but they should have studied that in a lab rather than on a frontline warship. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? You s we can loiter in an enemy system and monitor traffic or drop infiltration teams on enemy worlds. Normandy could be more effective than the Solarian STG. Maybe, maybe. But that's not the job of a proper warship. We're supposed to find and kill the enemy fleet, not count how many times their garrison goes to the bathroom. <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. Who, Commander? Krogan? Asari? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment. Fuck you. You racist Saren and the Fuck. We have enough enemies out here. Treating other species with suspicion and distrust won't win hearts and minds. That assumes the hearts and minds are worth winning. That hasn't been proven yet. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? Oh, I can't... Not high enough to use. get the last option. None, sir. Very well. I don't agree with any of this, but your reasons seem sound. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I planned. Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. Uh, fucking racist bastards. <laughs> In other news, Alive. 200 years from now. ...survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Occasionally the radio will actually talk about uh, missions that you've done. Sometimes it'll also give you missions, I believe. You'll hear overhear something and it'll give you the option to look into it yourself. Actually, I wonder if it may have just done that. I'll have to check. Aha! There we go. The Antaeus system in the Hades Gamma Cluster to look for the missing survey team. Oh yeah, I never... Oh hey, I leveled again. Fantastic. See, I can't get my charm any higher right now. I'm not sure how to get it higher than what it is. Ah, but I can get Advanced Unity, which is awesome. And what the fuck. Um, let's get her throw up higher than... Oh, focus on getting her... Oh, I could have gotten another level of electronics. All right. Uh, let's focus on the uh, decryption with her. Alright. 
Oh, this bitch. Kalisa had been seen in Algelani, Westerland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? What do you want to know? You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? The specters represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So, the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? I'm afraid I can't comment on whatever my current assignment may or may not be. Don't worry, we'll find out. The eyes of Earth are on you. Don't let us down. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. I've always liked the renegade option of just punching her the fuck out. <laughs> uh, let's head down and see if there's anything for me to buy here. Anything I can actually afford, rather. Hello, Commander. Show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. <laughs> All the good guns are still. Uh, f so look at that. I want that. That's that's my goal. That's my goal gun right there. Uh, to compare it to what I have currently, uh, you can see what I've got equipped there on the top is literally double the damage, double the shots before overheat, and so much fucking bigger on the accuracy. It's not even. Uh, pretty sure that's actually the uh, assault rifle I have uh, in my other game that I completed. That's not actually that much better than... Of course, that's only 19,000 as opposed to... Ooh, maybe I should consider that because... Uh, oh, Yara's... Actually, that's not much better than the one that she's got currently despite the numbering. Um. Uh. Yeah. No. Not great. All right. I think I should sell some of the shit I do not have equipped. I'm just gonna sell whatever I don't have equipped at the moment. Make some money. <laughs> that must have been fun to listen to. <laughs> well, quite a ways away from getting my uh, gun here. Um, I'm one ninth and a half of the way there. I got plenty of game left. I'll get there. The further I get in the game, the better the weapons I'll find and the uh, more that they'll sell for. I want that gun before the final mission, though. That's my goal. Uh, yeah, rather than get lost, I'm just going to do the, the transit. Alright. Um, I think the embassy's first to talk to... What's her face? And then actually, I believe... I Admiral Kohaku is in uh, the tower, the Presidium Tower, so...